This video will go over how to solve type 0 problems. Type 0 problems are fairly trivial. It's just a matter of consulting the chart and pulling the information out. Um, basically, I'll give you a prefix length and then you will collect this other information from the chart and put it in the proper location and hit check it. So basically for a slash 26, we consult a chart. Dotted de decimal net mask is this. Total IP addresses for slash 26 is 64. That's the total IPs column, 64. We can consult a chart for usable IPs, but we should know that the usable IPs is two less than the total. And then the block size will be useful when we're solving the submitting problems in the next phase. So we'll just get it from the chart for now and put it in the field. So we have 64. We'll check that. And that's correct. So here's a different one. This is a 22. So this puts the uh, interesting byte, I like to call it, in the third octet. So we'll go through this one, 22. Got a decimal net mask. Total IPs, 1024. Usable, two less, 1022. Check the chart to verify, usable, 1022. And the block size is four. So block size is four. So that's pretty much all we do for these types of problems. We look in the chart, we find the answer, we put the answer in the problem, put the answer in the problem, and then we submit the problem. So those are type zero problems, fairly trivial. Hopefully you don't have any problem with those. Once you're done practicing those for a bit, uh, move on to the type one problems where you'll use the information from the chart to actually solve some, some more difficult uh, submitting problems.